Hi everyone, it's Lima with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do another vintage collection video and this is going to be part three of my sewing patterns, of my vintage sewing patterns. Um, it's going to be part three, but who knows what I might come across, right? <laughs> um, so for now, this is going to be the final part and I'm just going to jump right in because it's kind of a large stack. I love her hair. This one is from 1970. Look at those shoes. I think I have a few of these. Sometimes I feel like I keep looking at the same ones over and over again, but I think I have more than one of these. Yeah, because in my last video on New Year's, I was talking about if this was an apron or a dress. This is from 1975. So maybe I should use one of these. I mean, I should really go through I'm still trying to decide what should go on my retro covers, which I don't know when I'm going to post this video yet. So by the time you see this, I might have already chosen my covers, but I could very easily go through and choose all the ones that are damaged and all the ones I have duplicates of and use them. But is that really a good way to choose? Shouldn't I just choose what I really love and what's speaking to me at that moment? This is from 1972. But then again, I have never made a cover using a sewing pattern. This is from 1978. So maybe I should experiment with ones that I'm not absolutely in love with. I don't know. See, look at this damaged one. Well, I, this can't be used for the cover, but I should definitely use it for something in the journals. This is from 1971. I'm going to go ahead and put this one aside. These are fun. They look like they're going to the beach. At least most of them. Maybe not her. This is a Butterick one, so I think they don't have a date. This definitely looks older. I'm guessing this is from the 60s. But it just looks so cool. Look at her socks. This is from 1967. This is a fun one. Those are really cool boots. And I think that's such a good combination that we don't wear anymore. This is from 1971. This is fun. I love shirts like this. I feel like people wore these shirts a lot when I was in my childhood, 1974. This is another really fun one. Love these shorts. This is probably from the 60s, I'm guessing, 1969. This is from 1971. To me, this looks really 60s. 1969. So fun with this. To me, this is 80s hair or maybe 70s. That hair just always looks so fun. 1977. I 
I love this kind of dress. The empire waist and these poofy sleeves. And I think these can go off the shoulder too, right? This is from 1971. These are really cool dresses. Nineteen seventy three. Of course, I think I I got this one for free because I don't really like it when there's a photograph. This is from nineteen seventy two. This one is from 1976. This is really cool. Nineteen seventy two. And this is 1974. They're such cool outfits. And look at those shoes. Right, here's the children's one. They're so cute. She's listening to her clock. <laughs> And this one is from 1977. That's a really cute shirt, the way that comes down. But the fact that it's only a shirt and not a dress. Super cute. This is Butterick, so I don't think there's going to be a date. But it cost $125. So cute. That is such a cute shirt. This is nineteen seventy six. These are there's a lot of children's ones in here. I should do something like a series. This is 1975. This is 1975 as well. This is, this looks like 4th of July or something. This is 1976. This one is super cool. I don't remember seeing this one. <laughs> so cool. If it's a landscape, what do I do with that? Because if it's a book, hmm, that's something to think about. This is 1969. One looks old. This one's from nineteen sixty eight. Not that old. And this one is from nineteen seventy two. This is a fun beachy vacation one from 1974. This one looks like it's from a long time ago. Copyright 1963. 
This one is 1966. This one is 1976 as well. This is a fun one. Look at this cool shirt, like the print and everything. And I wish she's wearing it with these pants. And these dresses look cool. This dress reminds me of Mary Tyler Moore. This is 1975. And then look at their shoes. Love that. I guess style and fashion just makes life seem more fun or something. Okay. This batch is not in the greatest condition. Um, these are my more recent ones. I got these in the exciting estate sale. That's the title of it. Um, but this one's really messed up. I believe some of these are pretty old though. I don't know if this is Butterick, so there's not going to be a year, but it was originally 65 cents. I'm looking at some of these stamps, and now we only have Joann's, um, pretty much, right? I mean, I guess Hobby Lobby would be considered that, but back then there were so many little independent, or what I think were independent fabric stores. One is super aged. I don't even know how it got this aged. It looks like someone coffee dyed it. Like it's literally almost crunchy. 1969. This is from 1965. Nineteen sixty five. This has the name of the person who designed it. That's interesting. I wonder if they're on any other ones. This is such a cute one. Her hair is so like it's so goody two shoes, <laughs> but it's so cute. It reminds me of Nellie, that hair from Little House on the Prairie. Even though it's nowhere near the time period. This is 1968. This one looks like it's from a long time ago. This is 1964. This one is 1966. This is 1966. This one, copyright 1963. That's a fun picture. Hmm. Oh, 1959. This person really bought a lot of patterns around that time, 1964. It was probably their hobby. I wonder how many dresses they made. This is really weird. It says, look at what it says here. That, I don't know if that's from 1965. I guess times have changed. I guess we would say plus size now. 
This is from 1970. This is super cute. From 1970. And this one is from 1966. This one is very aged. Like it's crunchy. Maybe it was in the sun or something. 19 okay it must be pretty old because it has a copyright symbol but there's no date and it was originally 60 cents this these dresses look like so much fun to wear I would totally wear this type of dress again there's no date on this one Another children's one, 1958. And this one is just like the clothes or the body part that's showing. Um, it's originally 35 cents, 1964. Right, so that's the last of these ones. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Um, hopefully I find more patterns, like a big lot of patterns somewhere at some estate sale soon, um, so I can add to my collection. I feel like I have a lot of 70s, a lot of 60s. Um, but if you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.